across the country at school I've been thinking about it early and I made up my mind Is that cool? I wanna know it'll be hard to set my it's far I know it's new, yeah, I think it's what I wanna do Hey guys, it's Ermina and welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new And welcome to my little self-care night routine that I'm doing Well, it's not really nighttime right now, it's like like mid to late afternoon but it's after school it's on friday and i thought since i have a lot to do for the next upcoming days and i thought why don't you take a little self-care break from like you know everything and get some stuff done and take care of your mental health too so i'm gonna do some self-care and i'm gonna start off with my homework and you're gonna be like that's not self-care. Well, technically it is for me because whenever I'm productive and busy, and plus I really need to get my homework done by tonight because I'm doing a lot tomorrow. So technically homework does count as self-care because I like to get it done before everything else. So yeah. So right now I'm just going to do like a, like get a couple things off my plate because like I need to. So first off, Today is like the actual like first football game of the season at my school and I'm not going and I'm really upset that I'm not going but like it's okay because it's only the first and there's going to be a, a lot more games of the season which you guys will see but there is a possibility it could get cancelled because it's supposed to be like thunderstorming later today so but another thing so I was scrolling through my Instagram today and I saw the Teen Wolf account and they finally posted something so I decided to check out what it was. There's a Teen Wolf movie coming! My, when I was in choir and my heart like literally dropped. Like there's a movie coming guys. Like seriously, a movie. I mean it's not season 7, but like we're getting something, you know? Comment down below how you feel about this if you're excited or not excited. You better be excited because I am. It's coming in 2022. It's gonna be on Paramount Plus, which is a con because I don't have Paramount Plus. So we're gonna have to figure that out. Hopefully, Michaela does so like we can watch it together. Hopefully. But I am super excited for Team Wolf the movie. And I'm really hoping like the whole cast comes back. I mean, I'm. I'm not sure if the whole cast is coming, and I don't think the whole cast is coming back. But, like, we know we're definitely going to get Scott, because Scott's a must. Who else? Styles is also a must. And there's a lot of other characters that are musts. Actually, the whole cast is a must. But we know we're not going to get that, so. And more rants. Uh, I got three homework assignments to complete by tonight. So, I guess we better get started. So there are going to be different segments of me doing things that are part of my self-care routine and in this segment I just wanted to do a little voiceover and talk about my self-care and my interpretation of it. So everyone has different interpretations of self-care but in my case my interpretation of self-care is exactly what it sounds like, caring for yourself. This can be different for everyone, in this case like for example one person may enjoy making healthy meals while another person might enjoy just eating their favorite comfort foods. One person may like doing productive things like journaling and reading and that kind of stuff. And another person may just like watching YouTube in front of the couch eating a bowl of ice cream, which is also fun. Your self-care routine doesn't necessarily have to be a routine either. It can just be caring for yourself, making yourself happy. You can just surround yourself with people who you'd like to surround yourself with, or you can just be alone. What matters about self-care is that you are taking care of yourself and that you are happy after a long, exhausting week of school or work or whatever you had. So I finally finished my homework for the weekend. Actually, it's not true, but I only have a little bit left. I just want to complete that on Sunday because I am... My brain is all drained out. I can't focus anymore. So I'm just going to get to the parts about my self-care routine that I actually enjoy. And the first part is watching YouTube. So right now I'm watching Nicole Lano because I absolutely love her. She's one of my favorite YouTubers ever. So I'm just going to watch YouTube for like a couple minutes and catch up on my subscriptions. And then I'm going to go take a shower. 
Another important thing about self-care is that you're actually doing something that you enjoy and not just doing it because everyone else is doing it. I know peer pressure sucks, but in this clip, I am just watching some YouTube. My favorite YouTubers include Nicole Ano, MyFam, Annie Long, and so many more. But I really love these YouTubers. They basically made me start watching YouTube again. Yeah, I had like a TV phase where I just watched TV and no YouTube. And now I'm like, I'm in like my YouTube phase where like I just like continuously watch YouTube. <laughs> Alright, so I just finished catching up on all my subscriptions. I watched all the videos. They took about like 50 minutes because one of them was like 20 minutes and then the other was like 30 minutes. So it's a pretty good time for YouTube. But anyway, I'm a mess right now, so I'm gonna go take a shower. Three hours later. Okay, the truth is, it is actually a couple of hours later. But if you want to know what I did for the rest of the day, I did spend some time with my family and I also ate some dinner. So don't worry, that's also part of my self-care. I feel like part of your self-care is also spending time with people you like being around, who make you feel happy. And in that case, that could also just mean by yourself. Like, you can make yourself happy. Sometimes I always like to be by, or sometimes I like to be by myself a lot just to process my thoughts and, you know spend some time with myself but that's also a very important part of self-care so make sure you surround yourself with people that you feel happy with and now since it's like midnight I am going to do some journaling or write a diary entry so I've had this diary since I was like in seventh grade and I've been writing in it for a while now and I usually just, I don't have like a certain prompt that I use to write it. I just write whatever comes to my mind, like, you know, what I did for the day, like things that like I forgot to write down, like things I really want to write down just to get it out. And I usually look back on those in the future and be like, I usually like reflect on them. So in this part, I'm going to talk a little bit about my mental health and get a little bit more deep. So I journal because I usually like to get my thoughts out whenever I have a thought. Whenever I don't have anyone to talk to, I usually just like to write it down just so I don't have to think about it later. And usually I can reflect on it later. And so my mental health right now, it's been good, but it can do better. I've had a, like, a lot of work this week. So maybe that's why it was a little bit worse, but wherever you are with your mental health right now, maybe it's high, maybe it's low, wherever it is, just remember to acknowledge your feelings because your feelings matter, your feelings will always matter. Mm -hmm.